Welcome to Lesson 3, Winter's Edge Measurement Analysis. Winter's Edge is a powerful logging and analysis feature integrated into the TermLab Measurement System software. This feature provides the ability to save measurement data to a TermLab database. Winter's Edge also includes powerful measurement analysis tools for identifying performance trends related to the sound system or atmospheric conditions. In Lesson 2, you learned how to save, edit, and delete measurements. In this lesson, you will learn how to perform measurement analysis. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to use Winner's Edge to filter the measurement database, select a measurement for review, and perform an SPL versus power analysis. Let's get started. To access the Winner's Edge feature, you must first launch the TermLab application. Once the program is open, verify you're in the SPL measurement mode. From the TermLab pull-down menu bar, select Tools and then click on Winner's Edge Measurement Analysis. The Measurement Analysis page will be displayed. Let's take a quick tour of this page. The Measurement Database panel includes controls for filtering the database and a grid to display the filtered measurement data. The Measurement Chart panel includes controls for selecting the desired measurement data to plot. It also includes a measurement chart that graphically displays the user-selected data for the measurement shown in the measurement grid up above. The right-hand side of the page includes panels that depict detailed information related to the currently selected measurement. The toolbar at the bottom of the page performs various Winner's Edge operations. Filtering the database is usually the first step you will take when performing measurement analysis. To filter measurements, select the desired system profile, specify the date range of interest, and then select one or more filter parameters. For example, if you're interested in SPL measurements exceeding 143 dB, you can configure a filter for this purpose. Select SPL Max from the Filter 1 list box, change the operator to greater than, input 143 for the filter value, and then click the Apply button. The grid will display the measurements that meet the specified filter criteria. To review the details for a specific measurement, click on the grid row for that measurement. The measurement data panels on the right-hand side of the page will display detailed measurement data for the selected measurement. The Measurement Data panel displays measurement results for specific performance conditions. For example, when SPL Max is selected, the displays will show the values at maximum SPL. When Power Max is selected, the displays will show the values at maximum power, and so on. The General Information panel displays when and where the measurement occurred. The Memo field may include additional descriptive text. The Sound System panel displays the system profile associated with the measurement, the volume control setting, and the music track. The Environmental panel displays weather-related conditions for the measurement, including temperature, barometric pressure, and elevation above sea level. Air density can significantly affect sound system performance. Winner's Edge calculates air density for each measurement. The Notes panel displays additional user-supplied information for the selected measurement. In this demonstration, I will perform an SPL versus power analysis. The first step is to filter the database. For this demonstration, I will configure the filters to display measurements that meet the following criteria. They must be associated with the Terminator system profile. They must be within the past year. and they must have an SPL max value greater than 143 dB. After specifying the desired filter parameters, click Apply to display qualifying measurements in the grid. The measurement chart can display up to four different plots at once. The Chart Control Panel specifies the measurement parameter to use and the style of the resulting plot. Selections include Bar Graph, Line, Area, 
and step. To complete the analysis, I will add a second plot for power. The chart will now display two plots, one showing SPL and one showing power. The chart supports both 2D and 3D plots. Deselect the table button on the toolbar to hide the measurement database panel. This will provide additional space for the chart. You can also minimize the chart control panel by clicking the hide button adjacent to the panel. The 3D viewport can be manipulated by pressing and holding the control key on the keyboard while clicking and holding the left mouse button. In this lesson, I demonstrated how to perform measurement analysis using Winner's Edge. You learned how to filter the measurement database, select a measurement for review, and perform an SPL versus power analysis. Winner's Edge is a powerful logging and analysis feature integrated into the TermLab measurement system software. You now have the knowledge necessary to use this feature effectively. Thanks for watching.